Mm. Quality four, what do you mean when you say divine truth does not and cannot compromise even for the sake of peace? So divine truth has this beautiful quality about it that, that it will never know a compromise. From the points that we've already raised, we can see quality number two is that divine truth is immovable. Mm -hmm. And quality number three is that divine truth is always loving. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if it's immovable and always loving, it will not be able to compromise because that would make it movable. Yes. And if it's always loving, it wouldn't promote war, mm -hmm. but it would also not compromise for the sake of maintaining a false peace. So here we're talking about a false peace, not a real peace. Real peace can only occur when we bring ourselves into harmony with all of God's laws. That's the only time that real peace can occur. Mm -hmm. In other words, you and I will have exactly the same idea on one of God's truths as each other. And that's the only time that there will be actual peace between us, mm -hmm. that we'll actually feel peaceful with each other. Error has a quality or a nature, and that is that it always tries to violently defend itself. Mm -hmm. A person who is in error wants a person in truth to conform to their error. And they are prepared to revert to anger and violence, manipulation and abuse, control and other things in order to enforce the error upon the person who believes the truth. A person who's in truth will not be movable on the subject of truth. Once they know the truth, they will not be able to move. In fact, to do so would be to compromise love, compromise personal love of self, compromise love of God, compromise love of others. So they have to be immovable with regard to the truth. And as, as a result of that, they are not going to compromise even when somebody is prepared to attack them and abuse them and harm them. Now, we see many examples of that in the world in which we live, but perhaps we need to leave the examples to the next question, which, which we ask sure. about the personal examples. So this is a quality of divine truth that we need to understand that, that we're not, if we are in truth, if we're in harmony with God's truth, we are not going to compromise for the sake of somebody else avoiding somebody else's attack of us. Mm -hmm. Now we see this happening all the time, mm -hmm. people avoiding attack by compromise and then they expect to have a relationship with God and you can't maintain a relationship with God if you are willing to avoid attack through compromise because to do so would be to move away from the truth. Yeah. And the divine truth is immovable. You can't move away from it. You can't compromise with it. So this is a very important aspect of divine truth to understand. Yeah, and you mentioned that, um, so this idea that divine truth won't compromise even for the sake of peace, but would always be peaceful. Yes. And so... In that, we would never be warlike when we're in harmony with divine truth, yep. but neither would we compromise if threatened with war. Exactly. And that's on a large scale, but even in a small scale within a personal relationship, exactly. we would never actually be aggressive or abusive or violent. Yes. But we also wouldn't compromise on what we know is truth under the threat of violence or uh, abuse. Exactly. So when we come up with the examples, we can talk about some of those examples perhaps, but that is exactly correct. We mm -hmm. can't expect to compromise truth and actually make it better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I, th I feel there is a, a constant uh, belief on the planet that you can make a situation better just by compromising with some truth. Yeah. You can't. All of God's laws are supporting truth. So every time you compromise the truth, you actually make the situation worse than if it was or would be if you hadn't compromised. So that's the sad fact of life that we engage here on the planet is that humans generally believe that you can compromise the truth and have a better outcome. Mm -hmm. No, you can't. If you compromise the truth, you'll have a worse outcome. That is the way God has designed this quality. This quality of divine truth is such that if you compromise it, you are going to have more unhappiness. You can't have peace by compromising truth. You can only have peace by both parties understanding truth. <laughs> you can only have peace by both parties feeling love. Mm -hmm. That's the only time that peace is achievable. So you can't have peace by the compromise of truth. 
Great, thank you.